when we played catch in front of our home on Brooklyn Avenue between Eastern Parkway and Union Street. We played catch, as children do. And a nice man, nice friendly man used to walk by. He lived a block away from us. He lived on President Street. And he used to walk past our home coming from the synagogue, coming from fellowshipping, coming from worshipping. And he used to talk to us. We, we, we embraced him because he embraced us. There were times when he used to come by where we looked forward to him coming by because he gave us money. <laughs> like this. So he says, here, here's a dollar for you. And here's a dollar for you. And of course, as children, I'm looking to see how much my brother had. <laughs> you got more dollars than me. And then he like he said, oh, these two children. So he got, us to, he got a chance to get to know us. And as he saw us in the community, and we saw him. Because on Brooklyn Avenue, it was a small block. So there's no children on the block. <laughs> and we got a chance to uh, uh, communicate with this, this wonderful, wonderful person. Um, our whole life, career-wise, has been because of a lot of teachings that he taught us, a lot of things that he said, a lot of kind things that he said. And one time he specifically said, uh, my brother and I was arguing over the ball. <laughs> and he came over and said, uh, 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 behave yourself, love your brother as you love yourself, and love yourself as you love your brother, because you're each one. So love yourself, like this. Initially, that just happened when we were 10, 11, 12 years old. And as it turned out, 20 years later, that was the name of our organization, Love Yourself, Stop the Violence. Later on, I found out he's the Grand Ribby. <laughs> he's the Grand Ribby. Uh, uh, the Grand Ribby. And, and I see his picture everywhere. And as I see his picture, I just reflect. We, of course, we have his picture in our home. Not as the Grand Ribby, but as a friend. Somebody who inspired us. Somebody who talked to us. Somebody who gave us good advice. Somebody took a liking to two children. So when I speak of them, I reflect about someone who was, I would give him 75, 80 years old at the time, um, maybe a little older, that used to talk to us, that didn't look like us, but opened the door for us to communicate and to embrace all human beings.